Hi, I'm Jody, and I'm Kathy. We're from Piano Box. Yes, and I'm going to explain our fun game, Glissando. This is a game that Jody created for her students, and it's been so fun for mine too. They just have a blast with it. So this is the game board, and it goes down like this. All the game pieces, all the kids start at the start, and you throw the dice, and whatever the dice says is where you move. And you follow the notes down, down the board. It goes treble, bass, treble, bass. And it's a little bit like chutes and ladders. When you run into a glissando, then you either go up or down the keyboard. There's different color codes on here. And every color of note you land on has a different purpose. With all of them, you say the name of the note though. So you need to know your notes. Yep. And, and it helps. So yeah. when you play the glissando on the piano, you also have to move your piece up. Uh, or either move up piece or down. down. Yes, so. and you name the note, and you name the note you landed on, and the name the note you're going to. You run over to the piano and you play the glissando, and all the kids shout no, glissando. And then you come back and play some more. And um, different notes mean different things. The green ones are the glissandos. The orange ones. You draw the note. So yeah. if you land on this orange note, you would be bass clef, and it's important because. Some people are like, oh, and then they have Maze, to name it. Trouble, so it, help, name it really, it. it really gets them to think what to note draw. They're on. Yeah, when you land on a red one, it makes you go back an octave. But what's so interesting is usually kids are going back on an octave on a, on a keyboard. keyboard, but it's with, difficult yeah, to it's go difficult back an octave on a grand, on a grand staff. staff. And so it, they have to think for a minute. Where is that next octave note? which um, gets the kids to think, but they're having fun at the same time. Yeah, the, it also comes with, yeah. It comes with a teaching um, booklet, which has instructions. It has how fun other ways to play it. It also has, of course, the notes, fun ways to remember the notes. So if you need help or you want to learn piano notes or groups, notes on the grand staff, you can use this. Yeah, every family could use it too because it explains everything in the book. You can yep. choose between these cute 3D pieces or these glass pieces too. It's your choice. And the game board folds up so nicely and fits in this little envelope and goes right in your piano box along with all the other games that all look the same so you don't have different boxes. They're all um, nicely all right together by your piano. You can just pull out when you're ready to play it. Yep.